Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of the Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Japanese exclusive 1989. He's one of the Dino King members and I hope I'm saying his name right, his name is Guryu. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at everything that comes inside the packaging, including the instructions and a couple of flyers as well. We'll have a look at the very simple transformation process. We'll also have a look at how he fits inside the shell, because what these actually are as well, these are pretender monsters. A little bit like uh, Monstructor, obviously, but of course these are all dinosaurs. Um, and yeah, I really hope I get to do this figure some justice for you guys. So in 1989, in Japan, they had the cartoon which was known as Victory, and we are getting more and more aware of that now due to obviously Hasbro's um, Haslab project of this particular guy here, Star Saber. So what you've got here on the back, this is the Victory artwork. So you've got, as I say, there's Star Saber. You've got Road Caesar, Lyokaze. That is Dino King there, funnily enough, fighting Landcross. And there's Desarus, who was the Decepticon leader at the time. These two here are God Jinrai and Overlord from Super God Master Force. Anyway, let's have a look at this guy. So yeah, he's one of the Dino Force. In fact, he's the captain of the Dino Force. And these guys all combine to make Dino King. And as you can see now, it is a redeco of Monstructor. But all of the shelves obviously are different. Um, and yeah, I'll show you exactly why in a second. There's six members. So the D, for those of you who are unaware, in Japan, the D stood for Destron, which was, of course, Decepticon. And his particular reference number was just 322. Now, there's some very broken English there. You can read at the top, which says monster jump out shell and transform to robot and again. So there we go. Let's have a look inside. Um, if I want to be pedantic and a little bit negative about this, what I really loved about all the early Japanese Transformer figures is they had all polystyrene inserts, whereas for some reason they've moved onto a bit of well plastic. And as you'll see, it's nowhere near as good or robust. Here's a brilliant picture again on the side of the figures and the combined form. And again, for those of you who are unaware, this was a brilliant idea inside the inner flaps of the box they put collector's cards which you could obviously cut out and save without damaging the box and there he is guru dinoforce and then you'd also get the robot point as well on the other side but the other side's all sealed so let's have a look inside there is the paperwork and you can see what i mean about this if it had just been polystyrene it would have been so much better and it's weird because all of the other, as I say, Japanese figures before this, all polystyrene. Right, that's everything out of there. And there you can see at the back would be the other flap. that You could fold those with some of the other parts on it as well. The tech spec is on the back of the box. And I'm going to just put this carefully out of the way. So what would have happened, this would have had a little bit of sellotape over these parts, holding them in place. So that's what you can see here. I'm going to take out the little... In a robot, I'm going to take out what is the foot plate to Dino King, and here is his pretender shell. Now, unfortunately, and this is exactly the same, I don't know why. Maybe anybody who knows um, rubbers and who's worked with rubber in the past can tell me why these over the years go all slimy and sticky because it, it, it is. It's, it's, and the other two I've got as well are the same. So, of course, here is like the Tyrannosaurus. I hope I've got that right. Does it say what it is? This is the main part of the shell, and this is where he's a pretender. If we take that off, he will be hiding in there, and I'm going to be showing you that in a second. Can you see the sticky residue that's sort of reflecting on it? I've got the date there in the back. I don't know why, it's just a very common thing, and it did it with the Monstructor shells as well, to be honest. We'll come back to him in a second. Let's have a look at the little inner robot then so if he's looking familiar that's because i've already said he was redeco of monstructor and monstructor was ice pick so there's ice pick you can see there is a vastly vastly different color scheme um and then this one's had a sticker i don't know if that's the correct place to be honest but there's a sticker on the back you can see there but that's why he looks familiar this is ice pick and this is of course guru so here he is in robot mode 
And then I don't usually do transformations with these older figures, but because this is so simple, I'm going to have a go at doing it. It's literally, let's fold the legs over nice and careful. So you can see there's a hinge inside there. And this is going to be a bipedal clawed monster. So we can fold his head uh, carefully down. You can see that's rotating there. And then we're just going to literally lift the arms up at the elbow joint. And then that's that's the alternate mode which is another monster as well very very simple as you can tell it's super super small um there you go that's his alternate mode right what i'm going to do quickly then i'm going to see i'm going to put him inside the back of this shell so we're going to take or the back of the dinosaur shall we say i'm going to take that off and then what we're going to do to get him into the back of the monster what we're going to do i'm just going to straighten out these arms and then if you want to, looking at this, you can straighten out the head, but I'm not going to. So this is now going to fit, yep, just about like so. There you go. You can see it's sort of resting in there. It doesn't look like it's going to fit, but I know it does because I've seen this before. That's going to fit in. We're going to click this into place. There's the little clip at the back. You can see just gone in there. And there he is hiding hence pretender monster so what you can also do you can see we've got a little cut out there or a little hole so we can then take his little blaster which is indeed very very small very small indeed this can go onto the top there and then this is the foot plate because what um Goryu is same as ice pick as you can see here ice pit can be either foot so again it's just very simple it's folded up and then these two pegs at the back i haven't got enough of them to make dino king yet unfortunately but what it would be is the arms are folded round to the back and then they fit inside there so which we can do look and then the gun will even fit inside that as well so you can power up the shell if you like to that still looks all right as well to be honest and again, it's just a brilliant way of being able to keep everything out without losing it. All right, I'm going to keep that there for two seconds. Before we come back to putting him back in robot mode, let's have a look at what came with him. Because I know lots of people love seeing these, and that's indeed why I've started to put these in their own playlist. So all of the old catalogues for pretty much all of the toy lines. So European, Japanese, of course, Hasbro started to do videos on all of these so I'm, this is just going to be a quick perusal what i want to show you with these though and i really like the fact is that the um instructions were pretty much universal so for all six members you had the same instruction sheet and as you can see it's got the instructions for all six of them on it so that folded out nice and square there's nothing on the other side it's just as i say it's just a nice easy to understand universal instruction sheet so they just printed eight well i was going to say six but of course there's seven because the reason why there's seven is because there's six individual bots and in japan with pretty much all of the combiners they released they released a gift set as well right this is something special this is a super god master force mail away leaflet so this is pretty much the cast of super god master force um junior headmasters jinrai etc king poseidon so what you've got here now these will look very familiar to anybody living it so well most people to be honest but this is of course siren joyride and a night beat and that is because these were redecoed in japan hopefully i can show you in a minute on the other things so these were different characters so this was of course go shooter ranger and of course minerva or minerva minerva and there was repugnus funnily enough he was also a mail away along with them and these are of course just the hasbro versions of the japanese figures a little bit of lovely artwork and some writing there but yeah this is a nice little mail away catalog I'm not going to spend too long looking at this but what i was hopefully i can show you what i was just on about so anyway i love the way they do this in japan so you've got this will be the victory side so here are all the victory figures again much more detailed video of this coming up very soon so there are victory figures here's a teaser at the end there towards victory leo and victory saber because he came into the cartoon very very late on 
And then on the back, you've got Super God Master Force. So here we go. There is Grand Max, Six Knight, Double Clouder, Sea Ranger there. Joyride, that's the repaint of him. And it hasn't got the other ones on there. There's God Jinrai, Overlord. You can see Buster and Hydra there, though, which is the redeco of Dreadwind and Darkwing. And there's your lovely toy checklist as well. Right, one final thing then, just to round this up. So let's take him back out of the shell. I'm going to put the foot back neat in here for now because I don't have enough of them to make a Dino King as of yet. Let's pop him out of here. Let's pop the shell back into position. That just clips in nicely there. Final transformation again then. Last time, fold the head carefully up. Fold the legs down like so. You can even, if you want, you could turn these around, I suppose, and have them like that when it's in beast mode. But what I was referring to earlier is to get it to fit on the foot. That's how you'd fold them over. Right, final time then, guys. Hope you found this interesting. I hope, um, yeah, I hope you found it interesting and educational. I get a lot of comments on this channel for doing figures like this that people haven't seen before. Um, and yes, I'm in loving sharing this journey with you guys as well because they, they're just great figures and it's just a shame they weren't released worldwide. But again, there he is, the 1989 Japanese exclusive Dino Force Captain Guryu. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.